So we have our first look at the display on the Galaxy Z Fold 8. And man, it looks like Samsung actually pulled it off this time. Plus, we've got two more new updates on the phone, so let's get into it. What's up, guys? Mr. Fanova here. And it seems like Samsung may have finally figured out one of the biggest problems with foldable phones, the crease right down the middle of the display. At CES, Samsung showed off a new foldable panel that they're calling Advanced Creaseless Display, and at first glance, it looks like there's basically no visible crease at all. They had the Z Fold 7 display placed right next to this new one, and the difference is immediately obvious. Now, to be fair, Samsung already made some solid improvements with the Z Fold 7. The crease there is noticeably reduced compared to older models, but it's still there, especially when you look at the screen from an angle. This new display, though, looks completely flat, like genuinely flat, as if there's nothing there at all. Okay, technically, it's not completely invisible. In another video, you can spot a faint hint of the crease when the light hits it at the absolute perfect angle, but at that point, we're straight into pixel peeping territory. For normal use, this is about as close to crease-free as it gets. And honestly, the fact that Samsung managed to get it this far is pretty wild. So, the obvious question now is how did they do it? Well, Samsung didn't really explain the technical details, but we already know that this new OLED panel is paired with a laser-drilled metal display plate, so this design helps spread out the stress that's created when you fold the screen, instead of concentrating it in one spot, which is what usually causes that crease in the first place. And by the way, this isn't just limited to the Z Fold 8. Apple's upcoming iPhone Fold will also use this exact same display from Samsung, which honestly raises the question, could Samsung have done this earlier? Probably. Did they wait until Apple was about to enter the foldable market? Also probably. Ridiculous? Yes. But hey, results are results. On top of that, Samsung is also expected to launch a wide version of the Z Fold 8. This one is rumored to be much shorter and noticeably wider, basically very similar to the proportions we're expecting from the iPhone Fold. And yes, that model is also expected to come with this new creaseless display. Now, moving on, the next Galaxy Z Fold 8 rumor honestly sounds a little too good to be true, but it's still worth talking about because it's coming from a reputed Korean publication. According to them, the Z Fold 8 will pack a 5000 milliamp battery, which lines up with what we've already heard before. But here's the wild part. They also claimed that the phone will be noticeably lighter than the Z Fold 7, and not by a small margin either. Apparently, the Z Fold 8 could weigh just 200 grams. That's a full 15 grams lighter than the Z Fold 7. For some context here, the upcoming S26 Ultra is expected to weigh 214 grams. The Z Flip 8 is also getting 8 grams lighter compared to the Flip 7. What makes this even more interesting is that Apple seems to be going in exact opposite direction. The iPhone 18 Pro Max is rumored to be about 10 grams heavier than the 17 Pro Max, coming in at roughly 243 grams. If all of this actually pans out, that would make the Z Fold 8 a massive 43 grams lighter than the iPhone 18 Pro Max. That is a ridiculous difference when you think about it. But yeah, this is where the claim starts to feel a little hard to believe. Samsung already pushed things pretty hard with the Z Fold 7 in terms of both thickness and weight, so the idea that they can shave off another 15 grams while also cramming in a battery that's roughly 600 milliamp hours bigger just sounds a little too optimistic to me. So for now, you know the drill, take this one with a grain of salt. And finally, we have some early information on pricing. According to the latest reports coming out of Korea, Samsung has decided to keep the prices of the Z Fold 8 and Flip 8 the same as last year. That means, at least for the US market, we're still looking at around $1,900 for the Z Fold 8. Now, keep in mind, this pricing specifically applies to the U.S. We still have no clarity on how Samsung plans to price these phones in other regions around the world, and that's where things could get a bit messy.
The same report mentions that due to rising manufacturing costs, Samsung may end up increasing prices in certain markets, and on top of that, they could also cut back on some of the usual pre-order perks, including the fan-favorite free double storage option. So the strategy here might be to technically keep the price the same, but quietly remove the incentives that actually made the launch deals attractive in the first place. Either way, though, it's still very early days, so nothing here is locked in just yet. Watch more tech videos on our channel, and don't forget to subscribe for daily tech updates. This is Mr. Fanova. Thanks for watching.